and the early results are in. It's Super Tuesday. Six months ago today, March 3rd, was Super Tuesday. Bernie Sanders is leading in Texas with Joe Biden close behind. Two months from today, November 3rd, is Election Day. We set an initial goal of reaching out to to over 1 million unregistered Texans. The Texas Democratic Party is in the middle of a huge one week voter registration drive. We've already reached out to over 680,000. Voter outreach from the Republican Party of Texas includes sending absentee ballot applications, featuring President Trump endorsing absentee voting, despite loudly criticizing the mail-in voting process. You know, I mean, I think it's just classic Donald Trump, right? Democrats call this hypocritical. I think that's fair, but, but I think it's also not understanding, you know, how it all works in Texas. A Republican strategist calls it typical. In Texas Republican campaigns, it's pretty standard operating procedure for us to mail our potential voters who are 65 and older, we'll send them an application for a mail-in ballot. Texas law says only registered voters who are over 65 or disabled or traveling or in jail but still eligible to vote can vote absentee. It's a little bit of a myth that's getting driven out there that Republicans are afraid to vote by mail. We just want it to be super secure. Just to be clear, this is about people's constitutional rights, right? Like it is, it is, if you're eligible to vote, it is your constitutional right to be able to vote. For both parties, making sure supporters do vote matters more than how they cast that vote. In Dallas, I'm Teresa Woodard.